Well, after my yesterday's live in uh, my account, a uh, lot many of you have asked about what is Tetrish Koti Devta because it was in Bengali. A uh, lot of people who are not from Bengal, who don't speak Bengali or who are from out of India, who don't understand Indian language, this live is actually for them. Well, uh, there is a, a myth behind uh, Tetrish Koti Devta. A lot of people say that we have 33 million God and Goddess. It's not a million, number one. It's called 33 Prakar Dev, which we have in our culture. Now, what is 33 Koti Devta? Why we call them as Devta? Well, we have eight Vasu, 11 Rudra, and 12 Aditya, one Prajapati, and one Indra. If you calculate that, that becomes in total 33 Koti Devta. Now, who are these eight Vasu? Vasu means eight Vasus are earth, water, fire, air, ether, moon, sun, and the star. Why? Because these are all above what it leaves and moves, not from this planet. You cannot touch them. Yeah? These things are, you cannot actually, these are energy, so you just cannot be that. You cannot be just a fire or a water. You can be like water. That's a different concept. You can be like fire. That's a different concept altogether. So eight Vasus are there. Then 11 Rudra, which is 11 Rudra? 11 Rudras are actually inside your body. Who are they? Prana, Apana, Vana, Samana, Udana, Nag, Kurm, Krikal, Devdatya, and Dharanjay. I'm sorry, I'm doing this live in two different forms, uh, in my two different account. So my face is like going here and there. Yeah. Anyway, so this 11 Rudra, along with that, we have soul. That means 10 of these elements is inside our body and the soul. Soul is a complete energy which you cannot reproduce. It's from Vaikunt. Okay. Because they desert the body, we call them as Rudra. And hence, probably the Shanan as a name came because he can control all these 10 Rudras in his body. Not with 10 different heads which we define. 12 Aditya. Who are these Aditya? Aditya means the lapse of time, the term and the existence. Probably this is 12 months. Now this 12 months in uh, Bharatiya culture, we used to have different name of this months. In Bengali like Boishak, Yoshto, uh, it's a different thing. But somehow nowadays we call it as January, February, whatever you call it. It's this 12 Aditya. Okay. Then we have Prajapati. Interesting. What is Prajapati? Butterfly? No. Prajapati means Yajna. Now, how do you define yajna? Yajna means it is benefiting the mankind. It is benefiting the mankind by purification of air, water, vegetables, rain, anything that exists in this mortal world. If you purify them, it's called yajna. doesn't have to be with big fire, with a lot of people doing a lot of enchantment. If you are doing it from your soul, if you are doing it with a purpose, if you are purifying it with mantra or from your soul, from your karma, then that becomes your prajapati. Like we have three different kind of soul that I have explained earlier. Soul by birth, soul by karma. Third one, I am not going to explain in this life. I am going to explain in some other life. Maybe later on. Yeah. Now, above all these, these devtas, then we have Indra. Who is Indra? Indra is the king. So, for you, you are your king. 
who can actually do the prajashasan of your rudras. So, if you can control your inside elements as a king, palan them, protect them, nacha them, then your indra is activated. And that indra may be defined as indriya later on, which interconnect with each other with your Mahadev. Now, who is Mahadev? If you remember once I told in Bengali that Shiva and Mahadev are different. All these 12 devtas, uh, 11 devtas, Prajapati, Indra, that means the 33 Koti devtas, above all is Mahadeva, which is Dev, Tauke Dev, Mahadev. Yeah? So you need to understand the inner meaning of each and every word that we have. Like right now I am doing Namaskar. Apabhrangshe Namaste. No, it's Namaskar in Sanskrit. Namah Te Namah. What's the meaning? Namah Te Namah. Meaning, I am giving away my pride and your brain and my brain are thinking alike in same direction. Namaskar. That's the inner meaning of Namaskar. So if you really want to know these things, you need to understand the inner meaning in Sanskrit and probably some small, small words and sentences which actually came to this structure. Yes, Doel, I said KT, not Koti. Um, I did Koti because of people who usually pronounce it as Koti. Okay, that's the reason. Okay, so this is the inner meaning of the, the entire structure of 33 KT Devta, not 33 million God and Goddess, which is defined, structured, written in lot many of different blogs or probably in some books or people actually misjudge it. Now you know it. So once someone is telling you that you got 33 million God and Goddess, you can probably rectify it. Once someone says that Namaste, you always do Namaste, like you, you don't handshake, you can then tell them the meaner meaning of Namaskar. Namah Te Namah. Thank you so much for watching. This is a short live. I'll come back once again, 11 o'clock, as I promise uh, to all of you with another details. Um, and uh, thanks for the request. Uh, I can take the name. Thank you so much, Oakley, for the request. Um, because of you, I explained the 33 KT as well as Namaskar, both. Keep asking me question if you are from out of India. If you really want to understand the inner meaning of our words, our culture, and the reason we created all these things, and the reason of the science behind all these epic, I'll be more than happy to explain, not a matter. Because of constraint of timing, I actually choose this timing like 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. Indian time so that all the Western world can also watch, learn, share, understand, connect. Namaskar.